We were working on the part with senses. Each of the cubes we had labeled touch, hear, and smell. So when I went outside I said, okay, whatever your block says, that's only what you're concentrating on. One of the little girls, she had smell. She actually had her lab coat on and she smelled her coat and she said, I smell chlorine. Well, what is chlorine? Chlorine's at the pool, at the swimming pool. So she was relating the smell of the swimming pool to the smell of the coat. Chase had hearing. He wanted to go out and he decided he was going to close his eyes through. So he's standing there and he's listening. He felt like he could only focus on that then if his eyes were closed. He hears the traffic, he hears the office door, the outside door opening, he hears people walking. Oh, and he even said that I think at one point uh, one of them said they're um, scuffing their feet. You know, they weren't picking their feet up. So they even were in tune with that. One of the little girls, I believe, that she was digging in the dirt where their mulch was and she picked it up and she smelled it. She said, the mulch smells like burnt chicken from a grill. So she was kind of like making the analogy of comparing it to the mulch to burnt chicken. I just, I fell in love with think blocks. It's amazing what I can do with these now with my students. They were throwing out higher level vocabulary than I would have ever thought that they would come up with. The patterns of thinking, you can take that and use that with everything you do. I can't say enough about what I've seen with my students, but it's getting them to a whole new place that they have never explored before.